Hello, how's everyone doing? My name's Chris, I'm a part-time eBay reseller. Back with another video, and I'm glad to say I've actually been to the car boot sale. First one in about three weeks. It's either been, either been busy, or the weather's been rubbish, or there are no other reasons. Basically, it's been a, a, been a bit of a dry spell for car boots, but I'm back. Well, you could say wet spell. <laughs> I'm back, I've got a lovely array of stuff to show you. But first of all, I did go to the channel shops last week and I shot a little bit of footage. Admittedly, not the best footage you'll ever see. In fact, it's probably the worst footage you'll ever see. For some reason, for some reason, it's my fault. I have my GoPro mounted the wrong way around, so you'll only see stuff sort of in like a sort of vertical frame. So I do apologise for that. And it really is a whistle-stop tour of various things I found on my travels. Uh, last, well, for Sunday now, I want to say last Thursday. Um, only bought two things which I'll show you a bit later on. Um, funny enough, they were both women's clothing items. So yeah, trying to diversify a little bit. Hopefully I haven't made a mistake with them because they did cost 15 pounds each, but I'll get to that in a bit. So I'll preview the footage now, then I'll show you those two, and then I'll show you the car boot haul. So there's a little bit of order maintained. See you in a bit. So I'm going portrait mode for this for some reason, but there we go. Um, yeah, this shop is expensive. Check this out, old Matchbox model, not desirable at all. Three quid, get out of here. Um, and then I found this, this is cool, Monopoly Game of Thrones, but look at that, £20, and to be honest, it felt like there was stuff missing, it was, like, taped up badly, not good, not good at all. Oh, just out of shot, this is like a bag of not Lego, four quid, all yellow as well, a bit weird. Now these Supergars caught my eye, or Supergars, however you pronounce them, but they were 20 quid, They're pretty chunky, kind of like a Feeder Disruptor Supergar crossover, but um, yeah, 20 quid, definitely no meat on the bone left on them. This is where the uh, portrait mode really didn't help. Uh, I don't know what I picked up next to be honest, so I think just some sort of random, they weren't vans, they were like Airwalk or something, Not no value. But check this out, check this next one out, if I actually show you. There it is, look! Ted Baker flip-flops, nothing particular. 30 pounds! 30 quid! Just clueless, man. Absolutely clueless. This was cool. I do like, do like some Umbro, but uh, it wasn't old. Um, it's pretty much like a sort of retro-style one. And they wanted... Da -da 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 -da, £5.50 for Umbro! Just ridiculous. This is probably one of the better things in there. Nice sort of retro rip curl. Um, and a nice little tag there. It wasn't like super old, probably mid 2000s. That's four quid. Um, what else? What else did I find? Oh, yeah, this was cool. I thought this was a winner. This was only three quid. A nice hurly, like pastel coloured summer vest. There you go. Look, three quid. I thought, yes, ideal. Of course. It was a kid size, size 13 to 15, brilliant. Bit of Hugo Boss, bit of Boss Orange. Pretty plain shirt though, to be fair, not much going for it. Um, and as the tag will say, 10 quid, it was sitting there. I was leaving it, no way, no way, off 10 quid. What was this? I oh, think this was cool. So if you're actually looking for a hoodie, this was actually not too bad. It was nine pounds, but a real nice quality embroidered Isle of Man TT. Like, um, yeah, pullover hoodie. Really nice condition, actually, to be fair. And there was actually another one, if I show you. Yep, there you go. Pretty nice. I'm not into my bike races that much, but um, if you were, that's a pretty cool uh, pretty cool hoodie. Oh, nice arm shot there. Quality bit of filming. Check the recording. Off we go. New shot now. Pair of Wranglers. New age. Nothing going for them at all. Look at that. £10. Back you go. Back comes the hand, hand of doom. Tommy jeans, these are pretty nice actually to be fair. Um, but again, 10 pounds, 36 width, 34 leg. They were pretty nice. Again, if you were buying these for yourself, that's actually probably not too bad a price, but as a reseller, no chance. And they had these two stop blocks. They were something elite, I can't remember now. But yeah, they wanted 15 quid each. Um, to be honest, like they are becoming more popular with like keyless entry, but uh, Again, no meat on the bone. Lovely finger shot. Oh, this was disappointing. Look, nice pair of uh, uh, Nike Stefan Janowski's, however you pronounce them. 
I was going to get them for me, they're my size. Six quid. And a massive hole in the front. And the soles were decked, as you can see. So, they obviously don't care about quality in this shop. Um, yeah, a pair of Calimore socks, they were nice. But for five quid, you can get them cheaper and sports direct across the road. Literally across the road. Look at all those fingers. Okay. More serious now. This is a this is a nice straw hat by the Burgess Hats, made in England, 100% straw. Five pounds isn't a bad price. You could probably get between 15 and 20 for it, but um, not quite enough meat on the bone for me, so I left it. But not too bad. If that's three quid, that'd be a winner. These are called uh, Have a Have a however you pronounce them. A pair of sliders, three quid. Again, if you get them for yourself, that's fine. They're in good condition, but resale value probably only about a tenner. So I left those. Right, women's clothing, here we go. Now, I can't remember what this brand was. Mama, oh, I, I can't make it out. I'll, I'll put a little note in the comment. It was £10. To be fair, the sell to rate and the soles aren't too bad on this at all. Um, but no, none of the sold that were orange. It was a bit of a small size and it was £10. So you might be able to get 30 for it, but it probably would have hung around a bit, so I left it. Now, this is pretty cool. This is like a calf Kidston, uh, kind of like a half zip coat. Now, again, eight quid, you're probably only looking at about 20 quid for that, which is a shame. Calf Kids and stuff seems to have just bombed. It used to be really popular, didn't it? But, uh, yeah, not anymore, which is a shame because it was a nice coat. And that's the wrong rail, Chris. Try again. There you go. Good lad. Now, haha, -ha, Hobbs. Look out for Hobbs. Hobbs is a really, really good brand. Um, yeah, this was 15 quid. Now, I actually put this back. Uh, and I consulted with my friend, good friend Lee Coda Flipper. I'll put a link to his channel below because he is a top bloke. Um, I left this stupidly, fifteen quid. That is a silk jacket and dress. I'll talk more about it in a bit. In a bit. Right, this shop is ridiculous. This used to be the cheapest shop in town, and as you can see, twenty quid for a pair of size seven Puma football boots. Get out of here. I think they've had new management come in, and honestly, the prices have just skyrocketed. And check these out, Gucci flip-flops. I don't think so, mate. And they want 18 quid. The thing is, would you challenge them? Would you would you go up and say these are these aren't aren't real? These are like fake. I don't know. I'm not sure what they say. I don't I don't, I don't think it's the person behind me at the tills fault. It's probably the you know the back staff. But yeah, this shop has gone from being dirt cheap with no stock turnover to expensive. Case in point, weird fish, nice weird fish, £10, only size medium, kind of macaroni, but not really, was a bit older, had some pulls to it, I'm back to show you, yeah, 10 quid. again, if you buy it for yourself, it's okay, but not really, but there we go, that's the end of the footage, Woo! okay, so you would have seen this briefly in the footage, and you would have heard me say that I needed to discuss it, basically, I found this, I found this lovely Hobbs London, it's a silk dress and matching jacket. I say matching, it just goes with it. Now I actually left this when I first saw it, when I shot that footage, um, because I wasn't sure that 15, sorry, £14.95, I wasn't sure if that was, there was enough meat left on the bone, so to speak. Um, now I contacted my good friend Lee, Code of Flipper, and I'll link his channel below because he is a true gentleman um, and really knows his stuff when it comes to sort of premium women's clothing. Um, basically sending a picture saying, would you have bought this? Is it a, you know, a reasonable price? Because I couldn't really find any exact soles, and he said, yep, that's a really good, oh, that's a really good, um, good price. So the next day I sprinted back down to town and by some miracle, it was still there. So as I said, it's a, a silk, uh, so the, the jacket is 60% wool, 40% silk with an acetate lining and the dress is all silk on the outside and a polyester lining, £15, hopefully something like £65 for that-ish, or aim for 65 and see where we go. So yeah, good bit of profit in that. So yeah, women's clothing, I am trying to diversify a little bit. Um, and say so there was no men's clothing there at all um, on my little round. So yeah, it's I actually quite enjoyed flicking through the women's rack, racks, um, rails, yeah, you get some funny looks, but I don't care to be honest. You know, if, if I'm learning stuff and there's stuff to pick up and stuff to make money on, then yeah, who cares? So that was that. Um, what was I, yeah, as I said, went back the next day to uh, retrieve it. And then on the day of the footage, 
I bought this, and this was also £15, or thereabouts. Um, took a complete risk on this, if I'm honest. Looked at the eBay comps and it gave me some confidence. Um, but honestly, I have no idea what this is going to go for. So this is a, let me see, St. John collection by Mary, no, yeah, Mary Gray. So she is a fashion designer. Honestly, I'm, and I've researched this really briefly, so I don't quite know. So if you do know a bit more about it, please drop a comment below. Um, yeah, made in the USA. It's a sort of, uh, I think it's called a San Santana knit or Santana weave or, or something like that. Really just super soft. It isn't soft, actually. It's sort of, um, oh, it's really hard to describe. It's a really odd textured garment, but really, really good quality. So nice and thick. I guess it's cotton. John, it doesn't actually say on the tag. I don't know if it's missing or or what have you, but yeah, professionally dry clean only. Um, doesn't say what it's made of. I don't know if the tag is ripped. Not ripped, it's been taken off there. I'm not quite sure. But lovely piece. St. John Collection by Mary Gray seems to sell quite well, although more so in the States and not here. I say 15 quid. I'd like to think at least 50, but it is, it is a bit of an experiment. I couldn't leave it behind. Um, especially because it has this lovely sort of, what do you call that sort of like military chain? I don't, I say, I don't quite know the um, the terms here. It has got a sort of military esque look to it. So my arms are getting a bit tired, but um, I don't know. I, I yeah, I couldn't leave it. It might be a fifteen pound lesson to be learned, but I just I've got faith in it. I got faith in it, so I've got no idea what what it's going to be worth. I'll probably list it at. I don't know, maybe 70 and then just take offers, see what happens with it. Start high, you can always come down, you can't start low and go high. So, yeah, start high and see where we go. But it is a lovely, lovely thing. And I couldn't actually find another exact example of this with the little um, little chain there. So, maybe that adds more value to it. I do not know. I do not know. But that was it. That was my two charity shop pickups from, from Thursday. So... Yeah, when there's nothing to be found in the men's section, or the toys, or the media, or the bric-a-rac, or you know, what have you, the women's section might be a, a good place to go. And to be fair, in any charity shop, the women's clothing section is by far the largest sort of area, isn't it? So it does take a while to sift through, but there are definitely gems out there. So I will be, uh, yeah, looking a bit more, uh, more closely in the future. So looking forward to that. But now, Time for the carpet pickups. Now, apologies for any lens flare. There's going to be some lens flare somewhere, isn't there? Because the sun's come out, I'm not complaining, it's beautiful, but it does mean shooting videos is a little bit more difficult, but that's fine. You'll still be able to see what I'm picking up. So, this is my car boot sale haul from this morning, my first car boot in about three weeks because of various issues. Well, not issues, I've either been busy or it's been raining. Easy. But yeah, I have done, I think, pretty well. Pretty well. A few things that I'm going to be keeping myself. Uh, but I've more than more than enough to um to sell on some mostly I say mostly clothing and footwear I think it's actually it's I think it's all clothing and footwear and a couple of cars but I think I'll be keeping those as well so there was other stuff there was other stuff there um yeah, there's plenty for everyone and it's quite a nice chilled vibe today actually I quite, I quite liked it it was sort of um more relaxed not quite as hectic and I don't know people seemed a little bit more um easy going today which is nice. Yeah, pretty much all clothing and footwear, which is basically what I, the vast majority of my stuff is clothing and footwear, but cause it's easy, isn't it? But I'd say there's other stuff there, but I'm not, I'm still learning about stuff. Anyway, I digress. So without further ado, I say, I don't know what order I got this in, so it's going to be pretty random, but I'll just get on with it. So let's yeah, start with this one. So pretty, pretty simple, nice Berg house, uh, full zip gilet. Roughly some zip pocket there, bit dirty, needs a wash. This is a size medium, uh, paid £2 for that one. So lovely condition, all the zips are there. I think you might be missing the little toggle, but that's okay. Um, it's say uh, it's nothing, it's, it's pretty basic, it's nothing, nothing special. Um, yeah, just polyester. Um, hopefully, I hmm, don't know, maybe 15 to 17 on that one. Maybe maybe pushing 20? I don't know. If it was a larger size, I might push 20. Because it's only a medium, I might sort of stick with, yeah, 15 to 17. But that's okay. That was a good start. Although it wasn't a start, but, you know, start of the video. Let's take this one next. Oh, no, I lie. I lie. 
I bought a tennis racket. Um, because Wimbledon, you know, I thought, yeah, I'll buy that, why not? First tennis racket I've ever bought to resell. Uh, this is a, as you can see, it's a Wilson. This is a Wilson Hammer 6.7. Now the bag is a little bit, I think it's got some paint on it and goodness knows what. Um, but it does come with a sweatband. And that'll be going through the wash, don't worry. So there's that, but what you want to see, of course, is the racket. I can't find the zip. There is it, there it is. Here we go. So here's the racket itself. So yeah, Wilson Hammer 6.7. I believe this is a titanium, titanium racket. So pretty good. It's got the little um, that vibrate, the shock thingy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the terms. I'll put a little caption in here because I don't know what it's called currently. Um, grip isn't too bad, but it probably could be. It has obviously been used. It probably could be re-grips, but it's still usable if a little bit. Oh crap! It is a bit flaky. It's not the end of the world. The racket itself though is pretty good. A little bit of wear on top, but not too many chips to the um a bit a bit of scuffing there. Not too many chips to the um the frame, the strings are nice and taut. Hopefully, I paid say I paid five pounds for that with the bag. Hopefully about 2025. Honestly, so I took a bit of a stab in the dark because I've never sold a racket before. And it'll have to go every because it's quite big, so that's not really a Royal Mail thing. But I thought, Do you know what? I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna give that a go. And yeah, fortunately, so I didn't look it up there, I just sort of bought it. But yeah, hopefully, about 20 quid back on that. So yeah, happy with that. And hopefully, because Wimbledon's on currently, it'll um, it'll fly out. But we will see, we will see. Um, oh, where do I go from here? And let me just move the dresses a bit. I don't to get bished up, right. Um, this is probably one of the surprise finds of the day. They're a bit squished, but they are a pair of Merrill. Uh, they are barefoot running shoes, so obviously um, like trying to emulate sort of natural movement, I guess. So like no cushioning at all. Basically like barefoot running. Um, these are actually trail shoes. They've got the Vibram sole, which is good, nice quality sole. Um, they are a UK size... What does that say? 10? Wow, they look, they look pretty small actually. Apparently they, they're UK size 10. These are the Trail Glove Palm Leaf. Trail Glove Palm Leaf. Um, bit of, you know, a couple of scuffs at the back. That's not a problem. Bit of dirt, that'll come off. These were two pounds. Should be looking 25 to 30, if I can get them looking as good as I can. So yeah, amazing. Um, I guess there is a, of market for this sort of thing and yeah they're pretty unusual so this is the first time i've picked up a pair of these so yeah not bad from uh, from two pounds really happy with that like i said again i just bought them i didn't like look them up or anything because i know males are a good brand and it's all the vibram soles and i thought that that's got quality written all over it so yeah happy really happy with that um where should we go now okay a few t-shirts oh <laughs> so this one isn't for sale but neither is it for me this is for a friend of mine um, he likes Snoop Dogg. I think it's his size. It's a double, what is it? Double XL, I think. Um, Death Row Records. It's from 2019. It's just a Snoop Dogg World, um, t-shirt. It's a bit corny. It's a bit, it's definitely not my sort of thing, but it is his sort of thing. So, I don't know, that's 50p. So that's, that's going to him. He'll hopefully he'll enjoy that. Uh, I've got another t-shirt. Oh yeah, this is a t-shirt for the band Black Flag. Black Flag is a punk rock band. I don't know any of their songs. Sorry. Um, yeah, punk rock, I think American punk rock band. This is on a Fruit of the Loom classic value weight tag. Um, it's not particularly old. It's, a, it's definitely not a single stitch or anything like that. It's probably, I don't know, mid 2000s type thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know my Fruit of the Loom tags very well. So. It might be more recent, but again, that's only 50p. Um, again, needs a wash, but apart from that, it's fine. I don't know, 10 are all in, something like that, maybe, hopefully. Um, these are for me, these are funny. I think these have actually been dyed. So I think these were some like gray Nike shorts, um, or white, I don't quite know, but they've been dyed pink. But it's come out all right, to be fair. So even the logo is pink. Um, you can tell they've been dyed because the, the wash, sort of the, tag is, I mean, Nike don't do pink tags, do they? So that's that. 
Um, yeah, I thought they're a bit bigger, but I just, I just kind of like them. And they're about a quid, so I'll just wear them and fill out the one, and then I'll probably donate them. But for a pound, I'm not going to, uh, yeah, I'm not going to grumble. Um, this one could have been better than it is. I thought I struck gold here. Um, so I'll just show you. It's a, that's the brand. I'm going to butcher that so badly if I pronounce that. Le Atelier de la Mile. Le Atelier de la Mile. Um, it's a 100% cashmere jumper. Size 5. I don't know what the sizes are. Maybe like a UK 12? I don't, I don't, I don't quite know. But yeah, 100% cashmere. And I was like, ooh. And when the woman said that everything on the rack was a pound, rail, sorry, I thought, oh, result. But I'll just show you that. So yeah, 100% cashmere. But, <laughs> but... If that shows up, it's been repaired and not particularly well. So, yeah, a shame. But apparently people still buy cashmere tops for um, reusing the cashmere material. So I don't think I'm just going to sort of donate it or recycle it. I think it can be sold. Obviously, I have to, you know, disclose that. And that's fine. But I don't know. That could be any any money at all. Maybe, maybe it's a, a fiver. I don't know. But, um, yeah, if, it, if that's in good condition, maybe like 20 quid. But as it is, oh, maybe 10. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, I wasn't leaving a cashmere jumper for a quid, even with a hole in it. So, or stitched hole. So that was that one. Uh, let's do these next. So these are nice. Now, Puma shoes for me don't sell particularly well. Um, I don't pick up too many of them. I see them, see them quite often. Puma suede's and um, even football boots don't sell particularly well, I find. Um, so I yeah tend not to pick them up, especially if they're more than like a couple of quid. But these are a bit different. These are Puma Clyde, and they are the I get to worn away a bit. But the Bradley Theodore design. Um, they're actually a men's apparently, but I mean, basically unisex. Surely they are a UK size. They're an eight and a half. So you know, larger women's size sort of mid-range men, men size lovely condition soles are fantastic oh excuse me soles are fantastic uh oops that's that um yeah lovely sort of tongue coloring so a little bit of wear to the insoles that's okay they were four pounds so the lady wanted five after her four she was like yeah that's fine um hopefully even though they're puma and they don't sell particularly well hopefully about 25 quid for those i'm hoping um yeah let's say 20 25 Good size, lovely condition. Maybe could do with a little bit of clean on the bottom, but I mean, yeah. I mean, even they're leather, and it I mean there's no sort of um, creasing to the the toes at all. So yeah, not to say worn, worn once, but worn barely at all. So yeah, four is about let's say twenty five. Optimistically, it might be nearer twenty. We'll see. Uh, right, let's see the last back bag. The box, a box, and for once, the actual thing is in the box. So these are a pair of North Ridge uh, walking boots. Uh, I wouldn't normally pick up. Well, no, 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 no that's not true. Well, I would, yeah, I wouldn't normally pick up sort of um, lesser well-known branded walking boots, just because they just seem to sit around. But these have a Vibram soles, and they're waterproof, which all walking boots should be anyway. Lovely condition, bit of crease into the front. Could do with a bit of a clean and a little bit of a polish, but that's okay. I've got the stuff for that. Uh, they're UK size nine. These are the Luxor mid waterproof boot. Paid five pounds for those with the original box. Not that it makes much difference, you know, as they are. <gasps> What's this? Oh, the original. Look at this, the original bill of receipt. Oh my goodness, they've bought loads. These? No. Okay, this is a bit of a tangent. So, um, this person spent... Oh, I can't really show you the... I don't, I don't want to show you any details. Let me just try and cover that up. Is that going to... No. £714 in Go Outdoors. £714. You saved two hundred pounds and one p. Total dis today your discount card saved you three hundred ninety eight pounds forty nine. What the? 
That's unbelievable. They bought, oh, I don't even know, a boot puller, a nubbuck proofing, oh, waterproof spray, nick wax spray, a transition three in one, I don't know what that is, a vest, a Kiwi Pro stretch, oh, I don't know, a Sherpa XL. Wow. Well, Ooh, they spent a lot of money. That obviously can't sell that. So, I don't know, they would have been, oh, who cares? But anyway, five pounds spent on those. <laughs> Bit of a tangent there, hope you enjoyed it. Um, what are my battery doing? Oh God, buddy, munches through the battery, doesn't it, this GoPro, munches through it. Okay, five pounds for those. Um, hopefully 25 to 30, one has got looking good. The original box probably doesn't really matter too much. It's not gonna add any value to it. Um, just helps to send out, really. But, um, yeah, so yeah, from five quid, happy with that. That's our bag done, so see you later. Um, right, next, next bag. Uh, oh, I got a pair of Rohans, got a pair of Rohans. These are women's, so women's Rohans. Um, they're not the convertibles, they are the sort of full length one. I think they're actually, yeah, they got a bit of sort of insulation to them. Uh, do they have a name? Do they have a name? These are the winter crossover trousers, multi-flex light. So probably not the right season for these, but that's okay. Women's size 10, lovely condition, zip works fine, buttons present, no holes, unlike the other pair I bought recently. Whoops. Um, yeah, button pockets to the rear, they're really nice. They were three pounds, were they two pounds? Hmm, and they were two pounds actually. I don't know, let's say conservatively 20 pounds, maybe a bit more if I leave them for winter, but I'll probably just list them now and just, you know, get on with it. Um, apologies. Yeah, so from two, cannot go wrong there at all. I'd say, just so nondescript. You know, normally you sort of see like crack hoppers, and I mean, I love crack hoppers. Um, actually, she did actually have some crack hoppers ones, like a real like retro style, like an old, old, older ones. But I think they were like a width 30 and the length was like 30 as well. They were really small. I thought there isn't really a market for older crag hoppers, so I just I just left them. But maybe I should have got them. But oh well. It's fine. So yeah, that's that's that. Now also from her, I wasn't gonna show these yet, but I am going to. Um I hope these are legit. I think they are. Um something a bit a bit different. But they are Burberry. Ooh, Burberry, Burberry's Golf. I think they're legitimate. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. There is, the so they have been worn, so that makes me makes me think that they are. Bit of a nick to the bottom. That's not the end of the world. Um, so again, a bit of bit of wear there. A lovely sort of tartan lining. Would you call it Nova Check? Would you call that Nova Check? Maybe. Um, yeah, Burberry Golf trousers. They are hundreds of polyester. I don't know if they're waterproof or not. I don't know. Um, they've got a sort of waterproof -y... I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, there's the um, little hit on the rear. These were, these were five pounds. So paid up a little bit, but she was like, oh, they're Burberry they are. And I was like, mm, yes, that's why I picked them up. Um, so yeah, five pounds. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, this might, might be a complete fail. Um, size medium, nice elastic at the waist. Let's say 20, should we say 20? I'll just, you know, Burberry in the wild, I'm not going to leave it behind if it's, you know, reasonably priced. Let's say 20 quid, it might be less, I don't know, but it's, the novelty of buying Burberry is quite good, isn't it? So, that was that. Right, um, I don't know where to go next. Let's, let's go here, so... Wouldn't normally pick up kids' boots unless there's something a little bit. Not. Oh, oops, sorry. Shaky camera. I'll say a little bit special, but oh, I'll just show you. So I've got a pair of Total 90s. Um, these are the Total 90. Oh, it doesn't say the model name. I'm just looking at the so UK size 5, so they are a kid's size. Um, they've even got whoever they are's initials in there TN. Doesn't matter too much, I don't think. Um, they were only two quid. I mean, they are, yeah, they are Total 90. They're not the sort of OG one. They're Total 94. Again, I'll put a little caption in the bottom. 
Yeah, two pounds. Need a bit of a clean, but otherwise good condition. Um, maybe 15 quid. So, but hopefully they'll fly out quite quickly. Um, so yeah, smaller size, but I mean, pretty cool design. Nice sort of luminous orange and blue accents there. Um, firm ground studs, so moulded studs. Yeah, two quid, so I was going to leave those behind. And then from the same stall, um, opposite, opposite end of the spectrum, these need a good clean, but they are a pair of Adidas, um, again, football boots. So these are a UK size 12. Well, for some reason they have Slazenger insoles, but not the uh, not the end of the world. Slazenger odor fresh. Look at that. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. No, I'm an idiot. They are just um, extras. Ah, brilliant. Do you know what? I could do with some larger insoles. Right, out they come. <laughs> We're good. They're fine. They're just the um, they're just sort of extra bits. So yeah, these are Adidas. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what they're called. I'll put again. I put a little caption below. Um, they're not predators. I don't think they're anything too fancy. But they were four pounds. I thought, you know what? Size twelve. It's a good, good size. From 2019. They're not not particularly old. Again, molded studs. Four pounds. But I say lovely condition. Just need to go clean. I just need, need to go clean. Bit of wear to the um, to the studs, but nothing too, nothing too, well, nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, but why not? So that, that's the only pair of football boots I picked up, apart from the kids' ones, so. Happy with that. A uh, pair of motorcycle gloves. These are RST. RST is a really good motorcycle brand, up there with sort of Alpine Stars, Denise. Uh, well, yeah, those two, really. Uh, Richer, I think that's quite, that's quite a good one as well. Uh, they are, <coughs> oh, excuse me, they are a size small. Which is a bit of a shame, but that's okay. Uh, they are the, I don't know, Cat Protect Schuller. Schuller? I thought it was some German there. Um, again, they were two pounds. The gloves aren't, they're not split on top. Um, little sort of them bits. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I know I just saw RST and thought that's worth looking into. Say two pounds. Um, at least ten pounds, hopefully. I sold some. Um, Oh, now, now I've got to think. What were they? Oh no, my mind's gone blank. Oh, I've got a little caption here. I sold some other bicycle gloves, motorcycle gloves, not too long ago for 15 quid, and they weren't RSC, they were like a lower brand. Hmm, I don't know what they were called. <laughs> oh, Akito. There we go, Akito, I think they were. Um, so again, not not a bad brand, but not um, not this premium. I don't know if they're waterproof. I think they are leather, and they've certainly got protection. So, yeah, let's let's say twelve quid, something like that. So, not a huge amount, but that's okay. Um, no, I'm scratching my nose. Oh yes, yeah, so this, the rest of this bag is all from the same store. We do it for charity. So, um, I should pick these up after I got the other stuff. I got a pair of SingStar. Um. Microphones and the adapter, so woohoo, happy days. Um, these can go all right if I can find a SingStar game, which I haven't got. Oh, God, I can't speak. Which I haven't got currently. Hopefully, I can sell them for about twenty pounds. I think at least that's what when I last looked they were. But look, they've still got. I don't know if they've ever been used. You know, I know, I know you can put like a little tie around anything, but. They really are. I mean, look at that. That's not even... There's no spittle on there at all. They're really good condition. And the adapter as well. That does help. Um, I paid £3 for that box. Box bag? It comes weirdly. It comes in like a buzz. In a buzz bag. So, you know what? I'll probably sell the buzz bag separately. Um, or try and find some buzz remotes and stick them in there. That is from 2007. So, yeah. PS2, PS3 sort of crossover time. Um, so yeah, they were £3. No problem at all. No problem to get my money back there. That's a bit... Get in there. Come on! There we go. Right. So, the rest of it's all clothing from this particular stall. Um, it's all a pound as well. I thought, well, yes. So this is just a... You know, just a crag hoppers. Um, it's not a puffer jacket. What is it? This looks like a... That one. 
One of these. Padded jacket. One of them. Um, polyester filled, most likely. I don't think it's down. Yeah, polyester lining. Um, it's a women's size. It's a women's size UK 12. Really, not, really nice condition, to be honest. Um, yeah, no sort of split. Um, the inner material isn't like falling out, which is good. A couple of like loose ends, but that's okay. Again, a pound. Um, I don't know, actually. Maybe, well, when the autumn comes around again, maybe 20, maybe? 15 to 20? Let's go with that. And then finally, from this stall, I got two uh, vintage head um, fleeces. So corset fleeces. Look at that for a zip tag. Look at that. <sighs> Amazing. This one is a size small and probably in better condition. This one needs a good wash. The other one needs a good wash. Um, look at that. <laughs> but lovely embroidered head logo on the rear. I mean, head's not the best selling brand, is it? Let's be honest. But these are kind of cool. This is probably more of a Depop item, but I haven't got Depop, so we're not going to... Right, sorry about that. Um, where were we? So that was, yeah, that was the head fleeces. Um, that's the end of that bag. There's one bag to go. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of space. Okay, come here. Oh no, it's fallen over. We've had a bit, we've had a bag avalanche. Bag avalanche. Yeah, come here. Thank you. Right, so. First of all, oh, I'll show you all the cars now. I've got a few die cast cars. Uh, these were... Yeah, roughly 50 pence each. A few are for me, a few are to bundle and resell later on, so no particular order. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels, what is this one? 59 Impala. I believe that's from the Fast and Furious series, or one of them, one of the series they've done. They've done loads of them. Uh, lovely 69 Dodge Charger, Moon Eyes livery. Again, another keeper. Uh, that's in 620 pickup. I believe that's a multi pack exclusive. But I'm not quite sure. I don't think I have that one already. So that's that. Uh, what is that one? 68 Copo Camaro. Lovely purple colour. They all roll really well. Uh, this is a bit more unusual. This is a, an FC. It's a Holland diecast brand. This is the British, weirdly British Telecom livery. So, I mean, they never use those vans, I'm sure. But there we go. I uh, see. That's the Comma 302, if you're interested. And... Lovely Mercedes CLK DTM. That's the casting I collect. So I don't think I've got that one already. I might, I'll probably do, but I, I, that's in really good condition. That's fine. And then the two that I am going to list at some point, I've got a couple of uh, Disney Pixar Cars models. So that is Boost. Um, a little bit of playware, but not too much. Say 50p. And I want to say that one's called Ramon. Um, I think it's Ramon. It doesn't actually say on the bottom. If it isn't Ramon, I'll put a little caption down below but I say he's in pretty good condition I say they the older cars stuff does sell well but I'll probably bundle, buy a few and bundle them and yeah some in the future how's the battery 19% right I better get cracking so these are actually the last thing I picked up um got a pair of really odd sort of suede converse um leather uppers are these suede yeah, I guess they are. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to focus. I don't know if I can show you, but the... Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I'll watch this back and think, what on earth am I filming? Um, so yeah, le leather uppers. Uh, these are a size... Doesn't say on the base, that's interesting. A size seven and a half, so... I probably miss them as women's, to be honest. Uh, all the, you know, unisex, but... Seven and a half men's isn't going to sell very well quickly, is it? So, uh, yeah, lovely condition. Um, yeah, the rears really aren't too bad at all. Soles are pretty good. So that's good. Yeah, three pounds into at least 15, I hope. Maybe near 20. So they are leather. They, they are in nice condition. Yeah, let's hopefully... Let's say 17. We're in the middle. Let's say 17. So that's that. Um, what else? This is a personal keep for me. Brand that should do better than it does. Oh, big love. Peter Storm. Lovely Peter Storm fleece. Nice, like, zipped 
pocket on the side. I mean, for a pound, cannot can't be that. I do I do love a good fleece, and I thought, you know, Peter Storm, Peter Storm is going to make a, a massive resurgence. Wait, resurgence means it was good at one point. I hope Peter Storm becomes like the next thing because it is a really good brand. It's so underrated. A bit like Crack Hoppers, it is just an underrated brand. Um, but yeah, really good, really like that quality of that top is as good as any North Face or Burkash you're going to get. It's just, yeah, so underrated. Anyway, not to worry. Uh, that is my own hoodie, so that can go over there. Uh, what else do we get? Oh, yeah, so these, this lady is like, you can keep the hangers. I know, I wish I hadn't because it, it got stuck in the bag. So, um, come on, come here. So, for three pounds, I got this Gantt, what do they call it? This is the Tech Prep Indigo shirt. Um, Gantt shirts don't sell that well for me, but I just, I just liked it. I just liked it. Size XL, so a bit big for me. Lovely sort of Gantt logo on the breast there. Uh, let's try and focus on that. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, size XL, all the buttons are present. Bit of a stain down there, but that should come out without too much difficulty. That should be fine. Paid three pounds for that one. Lady wasn't haggling, but oh well. Hopefully 17 to 20. Hopefully. I know they can be a bit of, they can sit around for a bit, but I don't know. I just want to give it a go. I just want to give it a go. So good brand, but I don't know, it might sit around for a bit. And also from the same lady, this one is going to need a bit more help. But hopefully when it is washed, it'll be a belter. So this is a vintage. Oh, is it vintage? No, 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 it probably isn't actually. So it's a, it's a Polo Ralph Lauren. It's like a corduroy blazer jacket. 100% um, cotton. It just needs a good wash but because it's dry clean only it's going to be dry clean obviously that's going to cost money but there we go um i paid four pounds for that i thought do you know what even after that's been washed i'm hoping that's going to be a good amount of money i don't know how much i haven't looked it up i'll have to put another caption in here i just thought do you know what four quid i can't leave that I, I just can't leave that i've got to at least give it a go you know so i don't know maybe 30 when I'm done, it is a bit more unusual. There was, yeah, there was actually quite a bit of Ralph Lauren there. A lot of fakes as well today. Um, but a lo load of polos, long fleece polos, but that's just saturated, aren't they? So I, I didn't pick any of those up. Anyway, let's continue before I run out of battery. 14%. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, from a, another stall, I got, again, just testing the water with women's clothing. This is a Whistles uh, sweatshirt, 100% cotton, Pari Cherie, whatever that means. Lovely sort of, yeah, stripy design, um, made in Mauritius, it's not an old one. Whistles apparently sells okay, but I've got a jumper up currently that hasn't sold yet, but never mind. So that was only a pound. I thought, you know what, for a pound, I'm not even, I'm not even going to grumble. It, yeah, even if, even that's like only 12, 15 quid, that's a pound, that's fine. Just to see what stuff's up for, you know? A um, couple of t-shirts. I think I might keep these myself for a bit, and then I can donate them down the line. So, a couple of greys. So, I've got this Aless, was it Alessi? Uh, I've always said LSA, and that's wrong, isn't it? That's completely wrong. Apparently it's either Aless or Alessi, I don't know. Anyway, Alessi Sport, just new age, it's got a printed um logo so it's not, not not old at all um again that was a pound so that's I'll just wear it for a bit and then same lady same seller we've got this again new age i think oh it has got a tag um nice embroidered champion one look it is a large it is a bit smaller but um yeah i love that sort of embroidery it's almost like a it feels a bit like a towel or a bath mat <laughs> really odd really odd material um that is the only tag, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it was a pound. I'll wear it for a bit and then donate it. Probably that's fine. And then final, just final bit of clothing. Yes, final bit of clothing. Got two pairs of Levi's. She wanted one of five each. I said, would you do the pair for eight? And she said, yep, yeah, that's fine. So these are a pair of 
502s. I don't think we've ever had a pair of 502s before. I don't know what the... Um... Um... Can't think of the word. Fit is? Yeah, sort of... What are they? 38, 32. Yeah, um... I don't know what else to say. But they're black, and black denim does seem to sell quite well currently, so... That's why I sort of went for them. Um, yeah, they're a 38, 32. These are also... These are a bit different, actually. And they're also a 502. These are a 36, 32. So, a bit different. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with them. All the tags are present. All that good stuff. These are apparently premium ones. Oh, with the big E. Look at that. Right, so these are just... So they're normal 502s. With the small e, mess it up, and these are the premium 502s with the big e on the tab. So I reckon about 20 quid for the other ones, maybe pushing 25 for these, maybe a bit more. I don't know. So that's typically what other Levi's have sold for me, that's what I've got for them. But because they're black and they're a good size, maybe a bit more. I don't know. But from four quid, that's fine. Right, um, battery check again, 9%, 8%, I better hurry up. So, final thing, final thing, I have to dig through all this now, I've got a couple of pairs of shoes for me. Now, uh, I, paid up, I paid up these a little bit, I paid 15 quid each, right? So, it probably is, there probably is some profit there to be honest, but I just like them, I can always sell them down the line, but I just like them, so, got, and this is what I mean. Big sizes do not come around very often. I'm a big size, I'm a size 13. These are actually a size 12 and they fit fine. So these are Reebok The Pump. Really sort of like chunky, chunky shoe. A bit like a sort of, um, uh, one of the Jordan, Air Jordan, Air Jordan 4s. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know my sneakers that well. But I just liked them. I thought, he said, oh, he wanted 20 for these and he wanted 15 for these. Uh, Nike Air Force One highs. These are from 2010. Again, size 12. But they fit. I should try them on in the field. If what John, I'm going to try them on. A little bit of wear to the soles, but nothing to write home about. But again, these are for me for now. Anyway, um, I said we should do 30 for the pair. He said, "Yep, that is fine." So, smash the keyboard. So there we go. Um, yeah, I, I'll wear them for a bit, and then if I don't wear them for a bit, I'll get rid. But um. Yeah, happy to treat myself once, once in a while. So that, I think, is everything. And that is going to be a very, very long video. <laughs> it's what I do best. It's what I do best. I'm just looking around in case I've forgotten anything. Don't think I have. Uh, no, you'll be glad. That is everything. Um, yeah, a good morning out. A good morning out. And say, so, I got back late last night. I just got to bed about one o'clock. And I was up at half five, no, uh, yeah, just gone one I went, from went to bed. And then I was up at half five for the car boot. So it's fair to say I am going to just crash later. Just <sighs> probably be in bed by about half seven, but it's all worth it. It's all worth it. So yeah, there we go. Happy days. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, <laughs> and my train of thought has just gone whoosh, straight out of the window. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please do leave a comment if you'd like to. Please like the video if you'd like to. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Please do. It's free. I haven't got ads on my videos because who wants to watch adverts? Who, you know, listening to me, which one is bad enough? So there we go. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, I've run out of things to say. This will probably, probably be an hour long video again. So enjoy it. Enjoy it with a nice glass of squash or cup of tea or whatever you drink. So, <sighs> yes. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Take care. See you soon. Goodbye.